All right, we are here in the Gulf of Mexico, just off the coast of the beach in Florida, or this might be a random lake in Wisconsin, I'm not gonna tell you, but definitely the Gulf of Mexico, and we are talking about hurricanes, and that's why we came all the way down here to the southern coast of the United States. We are looking at our first major hurricane. Just a couple of hours ago, it was a tropical storm, and we're now expecting this to go through a rapid intensification process into a major hurricane over the next couple of days. Right now, we're not looking at any major impacts to the United States, as we don't know really what it's gonna do further down the line but I can tell you that it's probably gonna go through the Central Caribbean area into your Cuba, Jamaica, those kind of areas there definitely need to be on the lookout for a major hurricane. Looking out even further than this, we're probably going to have a United States impact from this, but I can't tell you what it's going to do when it gets to the Gulf. But taking a look at the temperatures in the Gulf, it's most certainly a perfect environment for hurricanes to grow. When this gets to the Gulf, if we don't have significant wind shear and we have all of these super, super warm ocean temperatures, this is a breeding ground for monster hurricanes, so we need to be keeping an eye out. Now, one thing I wanna stress is we do not know what the US impacts are. Anything that we see over the next couple of days talking about the United States impacts from this storm, they are lying to you. So call people out on that if they're like, hey, this is gonna be the worst hurricane ever in the state of Louisiana. They're wrong, don't listen to them, that's a bunch of trash. Take a look at the National Hurricane Center outlooks. Take a look at that cone. That is where we expect the eye of the storm to be. Anywhere further along that line, we don't know where it's gonna go. And also, I wanna stress one thing about these National Hurricane Center outlooks. This is where we think the eye of the storm or this greatest area of low pressure is going to go. The overall extent of this storm will be much bigger than this cone. Taking a look at this graphic here, this is where we're gonna see impact of the storm in reality. And remember, you don't even need to be in the rain or precipitation of a hurricane to feel the impacts of it. If this storm goes up into the Gulf, it is going to cause a dangerous surf conditions across the entire Gulf of Mexico area. All right, guys, we're definitely gonna have more updates on this hurricane as it gets closer to the United States. But for now, that's all I have on it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.